This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, I know not everyone's interested in precious metals IRAs or 401k rollovers. Some people are happily putting their life savings on the stock market. Some people are launching themselves into property investments. Some like the idea of cryptos or leveraged investments. All at what looks like the top of the market. What could go wrong? With the supply chain issues, inflation on the way, and unemployment climbing, isn't it all a bit risky? And don't even get us started on the $25 trillion in debt. If you've been thinking about investing safer so you can retire comfortably and sleep at night, it might be time to talk to Noble Gold about the tax advantages and other pluses of those precious metal IRAs. Of course, you might just love uncertainty. But if you don't, this month, Noble Gold are giving away a free America the Beautiful solid silver five ounce coin with any quality qualifying IRA you start. Call us at 877-646-5347 or visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can just find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Um, you've said it's not too early to, to wonder um, whether this was really a waste of taxpayer dollar and judicial resources. The families of the mm -hmm. victims, though, obviously, are looking for justice. What do you say to them? Wait a minute, you're talking about the families of the rioting mob members who violently attacked Kyle for no reason? Well, wouldn't that mean that a not guilty verdict is in fact justice? Why is CNN concerned about finding justice for violent criminals and child rapists when they were the attackers? This is of course absurd, but this is what happens when you're so invested in a lie that you have no choice but to keep digging. Uh, how are we gonna get out of here? We'll dig our way out. I say to them, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, obviously, uh, I don't think he did the best actions by taking a gun and going to that scene. I don't think he was needed. I think he put himself in harm's way and others. I get it. I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. You're sorry for their loss because Kyle shouldn't have been there? What were their sons doing there? They were burning, looting, and destroying. If you watch the trial, then you know that the first guy that attacked Kyle was on video that somebody else recorded trying to start fires at a police station and inciting a riot. And does your footage capture any, <coughs> excuse me, any contact, uh, maybe not personal contact, but anything that you saw Mr. Rittenhouse doing that evening? Yes. Can you describe that? So Antifa and the rioters were going head to head with the police in front of the courthouse. Um, and as they were doing so, the police then responded. I think uh, they, I believe they called an unlawful assembly of some sort uh, because Antifa had their riot shields out. They were throwing rocks at the police officers. They were even trying to get inside of the hood of one of the police vehicles. Um, and this is all documented on footage that I submitted as well. Rioters were being dispersed further down Sheridan uh, towards the car source um, dealerships down the street. Um, the riders were grabbing uh, concrete slabs. They were throwing them on the floor to create more rocks and to throw them at police officers. They were launching fireworks and other explosives that I couldn't identify. Okay, so my question is this. Uh, did you see, in reviewing your videos, did you see Mr. Rittenhouse on the 25th? Yes, and that at that point, Kyle Rittenhouse came out of car source too, and he attempted to de-escalate the situation. In the video, Kyle has his hands like this, and he is saying something, but I can't identify what he's saying, but he clearly attempts to de-escalate the situation, uh, and he actually is successful because the riders then disperse. The first time I saw Mr. Rosenbaum was when the police were pushing the riders back to uh, the gas station um, on Sheridan Ultimate, I believe and uh, Mr. Rosenbaum was pushing a flaming dumpster on fire into police vehicles that were occupied by officers and human beings. What I'm interested in is really is Mr. Rosenbaum. Yes. Did you see Mr. Rosenbaum do anything uh, that kind of drew your attention after what we saw? In the Absolutely. He led the charge uh, into the gas station. He was getting physically aggressive uh, he appeared to be attempting to start a physical altercation with people in the gas station uh, to the point where he was telling one of the individuals with a rifle, shoot me, N-word, shoot me, N-word, uh, clearly attempting to start a physical altercation. I say to them, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, obviously, uh, I don't think he did the best 
actions by taking a gun and going to that scene. But somehow in their warped world, Kyle is in the wrong here for doing a community service and trying to provide medical care or put out fires. Something is just seriously wrong with these people's moral compass. That said, that's not what he's on trial for. He's on trial for whether he committed murder, whether he was justified in using force. And I will tell these families, I am so sorry for your loss, but on a legal level, which is the only thing we're analyzing here, he didn't commit these crimes. He proved that he used reasonable force. Okay, I'm really confused now because he just admitted that Kyle was defending himself, meaning that those people's sons were the bad guys. Why are you still apologizing to them? These parents raised psychotic criminals who decided that they were going to burn, loot, and attack people based on a sexual assaulter who resisted arrest with a knife and tried to get away in a car with two kids. Yeah, seems like a totally rational reason to riot or just an excuse to commit violent crimes. Let me ask you then, Mark, what this means, what the precedent is set here, does, does that mean that anyone with a gun can volunteer themselves to help the police on their own accord, right, heavily armed in the midst of protest, etc., because that's in effect what happened here. Wrong. 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 <laughs> no, it's in fact not what happened here. And just a reminder, this clown is a former Obama administration official, which means that before he became a Democrat state media operative, Joe Biden was his boss. Second, that was not a protest. It was clearly a riot. And yes, Americans have always had the right to defend themselves. Shudo proving here that under Democrat rule, criminals are allowed to run roughshod over the people and that's apparently the way they like it there's no precedent that's set the law has always allowed people to lawfully carry guns and do the right thing every case is different however what the f is he doing with his face is he gonna cry he looks like he's about to have a panic attack after hearing that Americans have always had this right to self-defense. Or maybe Joe Biden's just under his desk squeezing his nuts. Seriously though, what is this theater? Why is he so upset that these scumbags weren't able to kill Kyle Rittenhouse? Who wouldn't have fired a shot if not for the attack that was initiated by the very people who ended up getting shot. Factually, he had a legal right to use deadly force. And secondly, the precedent is a jury was impaneled they heard the facts, the prosecutor presented his, uh, his side, the defense got a chance to present their side, there was cross-examination on both sides, and the truth seems to suggest that the government failed to prove their case beyond it to the exclusion of every reasonable doubt. That's the precedent. Right. Well, we'll see how the public takes that precedent as well. Mark Eglarsh, thanks so much for sharing your expertise. Was that some kind of a threat? Weird that he would say that. It's almost like he's threatening riots. And you know that when he talks about the public, he's talking about fellow communists. Why would the public be upset that their right to self-defense has been reaffirmed? It's just such a bizarre reaction to a person defending their life from violent thugs, who we all know will use a not guilty verdict as an excuse to burn, loot, and kill. Or as CNN calls it, peacefully protesting racial injustice. Well, I really hope you're not a fan of Panera Bread or Dell because both of these companies sponsored this segment and apparently don't think that you have a right to self-defense. That's all I have for this one. As always, please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, I'm really close to 100K subscribers here about 3,000 away, so if you could share my link and encourage people to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it.